Scott. This is Emmanuel Fonte, and today I have Sofia Cosola, who has just once again with a particular set of clients listed property and sold property during COVID. So first of all, Sophia, welcome. And tell us about how this went down during COVID. Well, um, you know, we, we had a really long conversation about what we could do and how we were going to get the house on the market. You know, your normal, typical staging things and all staging, uh, getting the normal stuff taken care of, making sure that the house is clean, spotless. But, you know, this couple has two kids and they're both teachers. We wanted to make sure that they were safe. So um, I started brainstorming with them and my assistants, like, what can we do? So we actually came up with this. Uh, we got, I made sure that I got the um, waterproof booties and gloves. So I was stocking Amazon. I individually wrapped 50 of them and then put little tags on there to uh, that brokers and their clients could take each one never reuse them again and take it with them or dispose it. So I supplied the hand sanitizer, had a nice little sign, a trash can so that we knew them going in that the house, we already knew that the house was clean. We wanted to make sure it stayed clean. So at the front door, the sign, the booties, the trash can, hand sanitizer, it was, it was really good. Made them feel much better. So these people you've known for a while. So this is uh, this was not a new relationship. They already trusted you. But what was yes. the preliminary conversations like to be able to say, okay, with these precautions and these protocols and this marketing plan, we're going to go on the market. Did they raise concerns and how did you address them? Uh, yeah, they raised concern because they were definitely worried. They wanted to make sure, and I was worried. You know, I wanted to make sure my clients were safe. So I uh, said, hey guys, okay. <laughs> You know, we got the kids, we have you, are you sure that we want to? You know, they're buying new construction, so we had to write a contingent offer and we had to put the house on the market. So this was where we sat down and I said, listen guys, this is, you know, there's scary times out there, but I'm gonna do the best job I can. And um, we're going to, thank God, I love it, John Scott put out the, the COVID form. So we made all the brokers sign that, we uplisted it, I mean, uploaded it to our, um, uh, to the MLS. We made sure that everybody signed it, that they emailed it to us, and thank God everybody was really good. We, um, I let them know ahead of time that that's what we were doing. So they felt much more comfortable there. And uh, some of the brokers were a little sketchy at first, but we just let them know like, hey, if my clients get sick, I want you to know. And at the same time, if your clients get sick or anything like that, we will still have that communication long after the transaction is finished. So, um, and then I just said, hey, listen, I'm going to do the best job I can. There, I can't find hand sanitizer out there, but I made it. And uh, very potent, 90% alcohol. Whoa. And, yeah. <laughs> it's, whoa. But it, <laughs> it's there, and, and they felt really good about that. And we just went through, okay, there's no place for you guys to go during these showings. So hopefully we can, you know, if we do the right job, get it priced, get it marketed, have the house look good the way that we always have, that we'll get it sold by the first weekend. And, you know, thank God we did. So it almost sounds like we have uh, four P's. For the longest time, it's been three P's. Presentation, promotion, and price, and now protocol. So you had all the protocol dealt with. You obviously yes. priced it right. You presented it well and it was ready and the doors were open and people could come in and, and see the property and feel safe and secure. And obviously you promoted it well. You used video and virtual open houses. Tell us, how did you have the conversation with those sellers about your marketing plan that was going to be mostly virtual and then by showing an appointment only? So the virtual... So they, my clients all know that I love doing videos to begin with. So doing, doing the live Facebook, you know, that's very normal. So they, were, they already felt comfortable about that and they kind of laugh and they get excited and then they'll just do that. But, you know, like now doing these virtual open houses, it's kind of crazy, but at the same time, it's still kind of cool. And just the marketing behind that is pretty impressive. You know, we're, we're boosting, we've made ads, we're boosting the ads to draw people to the open houses. And then everybody I know, I've already made sure that everybody's going to start sharing it to their page. So then we're going to get more showings and then hopefully people will be engaged. You know, I'm, I'm doing it for an hour, but you know, obviously I like talking. So if I have to talk more and then I'll talk more. 
but you know, when you have a great product, it's easy to sell. And you're prepared. So I think what sometimes people think of is, uh, since we can't do open houses physically, you know, this digital thing, we'll just turn a camera on and just do it. But what you've realized and those that are really good in this space is the preparation for virtual open house is probably as important, possibly even more important than the actual virtual open house to generate that, to make sure that people are ready to be there and to engage. And you're showing the views online are probably surpassing what you would have had people through your open house. Would that be fair to say? Absolutely. And the nice thing is, is with all this preparation, it's actually drawing more people to my business page where I'm able to sit there and then just keep them engaged for the future and hopefully get more clients that way. And now what I'm doing is as I'm walking a house, I'm putting little pieces of paper with bullet points. So I'm like, Oh, as a little reminder, like, Hey, let me talk to you about this. And Hey, let me talk to you about that. So that's where I think it's, you know, it's helping me, you know, remember like, Oh, let me make sure that I talk about this. And then as everybody's you know, engaging, it's easy when somebody, you know, logs on, they send you a quick little hi, you know, like just take the time to say, Hey, Hey, how's it going? You know, do you have any questions? Would you like to see that again? And then just always remembering to say, Hey, I'm in Kent or Hey, I'm in Auburn or, you know, Bellevue, just so you know, I'm at this open house and then just memorize the address or keep it on your hand while you can just hold your phone and then just like, I'm at such and such. I love that. People don't see what's behind the camera. <laughs> So you've been doing video before COVID, so you were kind of ahead of the curve. That yeah. obviously helped you be prepared as yeah. you're launching listings during COVID. Absolutely. But has there, has there been a, a skill set or a technology or a tactic that you've had to implement because of COVID that you hadn't before? Um, I think, you know, the, the, the scary conversation with the buyers and sellers, like, hey, this is out there, and, and we would just, you know, like, nothing's changed, except for we just have to be a little bit more careful, you know? I think more of, like, the Zoom calls, more of the video emails, bomb bomb works phenomenal. So doing things like that, it, where you're more in somebody's face now on the computer is definitely more than what I'm used to. And I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. I've become now more comfortable. Do you think that'll be a... a a technology and a, a tactic that you'll use moving forward, even as we loosen some of the restrictions and mandates? Absolutely, I'm actually loving it. It's fun. It's challenging, it's fun. You know, when you're putting just a positive spin on something, it's, it's, it just makes it fun. And I think it, it, it makes you obviously a lot smarter than I am, you know, and it makes it look like I'm really smart, but I'm really not. Well, you're, like, you're committed. And so yeah. that's huge, right? So you've committed to your business and to serving the people that you're serving. So that's massive. It has nothing to do with intelligence, I don't think. But, you know, you're going for it. I think there would have been a time, maybe even, I'd argue, three months ago, if you'd say, hey, do a Zoom uh, session for a listing consultation. Most people look at you like, that's just out of oh, the yeah. conversation. Whereas now, what else would you do? I mean, I think moving forward, this is what we will do as a practice, as certainly as a preliminary uh, pre-listing event prior to even being in their home as the mandates loosen. Uh, let me ask you this. Obviously, the trust factor in you existed with this particular couple. As you're meeting new people, how is it that you're um, demonstrating the elevation of your marketing during COVID for them to then feel comfortable with you? So that's actually perfect. The listing that I just put on the market today is he's actually my doctor, my chiropractor. So he doesn't know anything about what I do for my job. You know, we've talked in the office, you know, I go there three times a week, we talk, but he's, you know, uh, you know, we he bought a house for me. So now we've, it's literally bought the house. I'm like, I need you out of the house. Cause I need to take over. He's like, what? Like, Oh yeah. So I've reassured him because of course it's still his home. He wants to make sure that it's clean. So I made sure that every day I'm giving him, updates of what's happened you know like the staging has been done we had the photography today we had the video offer come out today and he's just seeing everything that I've done now and he went uh do do all people do this I'm like well <laughs> I don't know about that but I know that I do and yeah that's where here's somebody who had no clue of what I did no. so what's interesting to me is um you have massive confidence 
I don't sense any kind of arrogance, but confidence because you know what you're doing. Uh, where does that come from? Is that just experience? Is that mindset? A mixture of both? Ooh, my parents, maybe. <laughs> Your parents? My parents, probably. Uh, instilling, you know, you have immigrant families, you've got that, you know, work ethics. I love my job. I love the company I work for. I'm, I, um, I'm not arrogant at all. I think I just love my job. Um, I love helping people. And um, I love being the best broker that I can. And I love that finished product of what the house looks like, you know, when it's staged and the pictures. I, I just get really excited. Yeah. Well, it's evident from you. Your spirit just radiates um joy confidence commitment passion and obviously that's felt by your clients uh, any anything that you could share with us as john scott broker agents for those that might be either concerned about doing business during this time or even having conversations with technology or even being willing to have a conversation with people that should sell or in the position that they need to sell is there something you could tell them tell us that would help maybe give us the confidence that you have to help us move forward because we obviously need listings. Our inventory is just woefully under uh, the number that it needs to be. So I have probably, you know, and I, I, I keep my, my grease board, you know, you know, written up with all my listings that I have coming up and I, I'm constantly calling, you know, like normal. I, I am really trying to keep this as business as normal and I'm having the conversations like, Hey, nothing's changed. We're just, we're taking the precautions and with these precautions, it's here to keep you safe. You know, like the fact that we're making sure that like the booties are disposable, we're not going to reuse them again. We're making sure that we're supplying gloves. We're not going to reuse them again. I'm giving you hand sanitizer. If you want masks, I will get you masks. I will do whatever it takes. But this is still a really hot market. That's the main thing. I, I talk to the brokers in my office all the time. You know, like there is no giving up. There is no giving up. In me, it's, it's not going to happen. I, I mean, I have employees. I, I need to, I've made that commitment that I am not going to lay them off. It's never going to happen. I have, you know, like a strong support team like, like you folks. You know, Mary Pat's like right there. If I need something, she's right there. We're just going to keep going and keep it business as usual. And that's what I'm telling my clients. Like, let's get these houses on the market because there is such a shortage. I love your um, directness. <laughs> and leadership because people we don't we don't manage people we manage systems we lead people so it's wonderful to hear how you're leading your clients to make sure that they're safe and successful so oh my gosh thank you Sophia for your time for uh, the contribution you make to your clients uh, that to be part of John Scott team and for being with us today thank you so very much oh my gosh thank you so much I'm very honored mm -hmm.